More people unloading on the Great Lakes Water Authority. This woman lives on the east side, saying the June sewage backup was overwhelming. With a force so strong that it blows a washing machine in the air. And in tears, she said she can't afford to replace her basement appliances, including her hot water tank. I got to go and get bath water from Lowe's to put in a, hot, in a water dispenser to get hot water. Because y'all ain't doing what y'all supposed to do. Since June 26, we've been showing you the shocking pictures of streets flooded, basements flooded, with thousands of people on the east side of the city and the gross points, hundreds of millions in damage. Heavy rain fell, but Great Lakes Water Authority pumps failed to drain sewer systems. We do not ever sign up to have our basements used as a retaining center for when you can process the sewage. Water Authority board member Gary Brown also runs the city of Detroit system. He says they've gotten a huge number of claims for damages. Yesterday, the Water Authority could not say how many they've gotten. The deadline to file for help was midnight last night. We got about 30,000. Uh, I'm not surprised based on the number of homes that are located in low-lying areas. Brown says they've hired an outside firm to process and investigate some 22,000 claims so far. What went wrong? If it was the water authority or the city. If there was a defect, uh, we would negotiate a settlement with the resident. During a break in the board meeting, we attempted to talk with Sue McCormick, the CEO. This is her last day on the job with the authority. No answers, no accountability with us. Sources have told us she stayed in her Lansing area home for a week after the June 26 pump failures and was asked to resign. Sue, can I have a moment of your time, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, not right now. Yeah. You don't have five minutes? No, nope, not right now, thank you. The board appointing Water Authority Planning Officer, Suzanne Coffey, as interim. CEO. If someone's been has resigned, then you've got to get someone else there acting as soon as possible. But we took several weeks to evaluate that. And get this, McCormick remains on the payroll until September 28th as a consultant. In Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.